Good morning, Annaline. Good morning, Mom. Okay, Annaline, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Annaline Piscano Verbano. I'm 34 years old. I have two kids, uh, 8 years old and 4 years old. My husband is Carlito Verbano. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? To earn money and help my family uh, for the finances, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? It's near to our Philippine, Philippine home. How are you qualified for this job? I'm fit to work, ma'am. May I know what your educational level is? I'm only high school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? OFW at Singapore. Okay, you mean you are a domestic helper in Singapore? Sorry, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You are a domestic helper in Singapore? Yes, ma'am. For how many years? One year and two months, ma'am. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby are you taking care of? My children, ma'am. My two children, ma'am. Okay, how about elderly? Yes, ma'am. Whose elderly are you taking care of? My mother and father, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? A Filipino food, ma'am. Adobo, a fritada, minuto. Okay. How about other dishes like Chinese food, European food, Indian food, and Malay food? Basic Chinese food only, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? All of them, ma'am. Okay, all of the above. Yes, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother and sister, ma'am. And husband. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years contract, ma'am. Okay, can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Uh, work hard, ma'am. Patient, kind. Lovely to the caring, caring the kids, ma'am. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Willing to earn, ma'am. Willing to learn. Willing to learn, ma'am. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Please repeat, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia?
Would you promise to finish your two years contract? Finish my contract, I promise. Me. Okay, so how can you assure to us that you will really work hard in Malaysia? And I learn, learn my mom. Learn my mom and accept, the, accept all the first one. Okay, can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? Nothing, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Okay. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Annalyn. We have yes, finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Upon arrival here in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Continue my contract and finish. And then? And uh, I, will, I will work hard. Hi there, ma'am. Okay, so tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I will. I am kind, uh, polite, loyal, and could be trust, and that hard, ma'am. Willing to learn any any uh, any work that I can I can I don't know, ma'am. Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Mom, please choose me because I'm uh, work hard to earn money for my family and willing to learn, uh, accept all your, accept all your, uh, accept all your, accept all your work, accept all the work that you give to me, Mom. Okay, um, thank you very much, Annalyn. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.